is second to last day of the rifle, general season rifle hunt in Utah. And I just came up by myself this morning. I ran into a place that has been good to me in years past. And I've got four deer spotted. The first buck, he's going to get a pass. broken on his left side. Good buck. I think he's a big three by four. I just found a bit, uh, group of deer with several bucks, but one small, like a three by four, but one big mature buck that I would definitely shoot. So he's probably a thousand, twelve hundred yards away right now. So I gotta bust balls and get way up there. This is, <clears throat> it's a pretty gradual climb, so I should be able to get there in like 15, 20 minutes maybe. And hopefully he's still up on his feet feeding. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare turning him up because he just, he's just kind of pushed into a little bit of a um, oak brush patch. So here we go. Good news though. Big buck spotted. Let's go get him. There's a coyote in range. Two of them. on the right. shot okay i was standing just above in that little opening there on the spine and this buck stopped just on the other side of this tree right there shot him missed the first shot second shot hit him he came up right here and came on this trail a little bit of blood right here i could see him fall over so there was no real blood trail or track job necessary. So he made it a total of about 15 yards. And here he is. He is just a little bit better than what I thought he was. Because his mass is a little better than what I thought. So good deer, I'm excited about that. I think I saw this buck fighting uh, another younger buck and it may have been the one that was running with him when I shot him but anyway I've uh, got some work ahead of me I'm like three and a half miles from the truck so 
beautiful, absolutely beautiful morning. I got snow up here. I have seen so many deer. I'll, I'll bet I'm 30 deer and 15 bucks in one canyon. So that's pretty good. I was able to pass eight, eight little bucks this morning. Um, and this guy offered me a shot that I basically couldn't resist. And then <laughs> to make matters worse, he tempted me so hard. I, I even pulled out the tripod, pulled out the spotting scope, pu pulled out my phone, got the phone set up, started filming, even put earplugs in. So he just had to die. And he did. But it was over quick. I don't think he felt the whole lot. And uh, this is actually my first kill of the year. So pretty pleased. My 2022 Utah general season buck. Shot him with my new 300 Win Mag. Uh, it is the Tika T3X. I'm shooting the <clears throat> Hornady 212 grain ELDX. I've got the Leupold VX 5HD. It's a great scope. I uh, got it all, you know, had them send me the custom, custom uh, turret. Although it didn't matter because I shot him at 110 yards. So beautiful buck. Second to last day of the hunt. And, you know, I had the extended coming up, but I thought, what the heck? We'll shoot this deer. And he's a little better than I thought he was when I was just standing there looking at him with the scope. He gave me the oppor every opportunity in the world to decide if I wanted to shoot him or not. So he's going home with me. We're about three and a half miles from the truck. And time to get him cut up and get out of here. That was a fun hunt. Well, I made quick work of that. I got all the meat hanging right there in that tree. Thank you, bench made bug out. I forgot Havlon blades and Outdoor Edge I blades. I have both knives, but not blades. How smart is that? All right, well, just got loaded up and time to head out of here. So here we go. It's been a great morning. It's now 1.26 in the afternoon I'm uh, all loaded up and it's heavy but the great news is it's mostly downhill I've got a little bit of a climb here to begin to get on top of the spine and then should be smooth sailing from there <clears throat> it has warmed up significantly I stripped down to a t-shirt and the meat I was able to while I was cutting it all off, I boned it out. And while I was cutting up, I just stashed it in the snow and let it cool off, which actually really worked quite well. So the meat is mostly chilled. And in now it's in my pack and I'm getting a free ride. So thank you, Buck Deer. Got two more tags actually. I've got a Colorado and Idaho mule deer tag that is going to be I think the end the hunt ends in two days so I might even be driving up tonight maybe tomorrow morning see what I can do in Idaho that'd be cool two bucks in two days in two states um, anyway I'll uh, hit the trail here maybe Maybe update, maybe not.
been, I have about a mile and a quarter left to the truck. And that is good news because this thing is heavy. And uh, just thought I'd quickly close this up. Last little bit here. Uh, 2022 general season mule deer hunt. It was a ton of fun. I got I got to spend a lot of time with my boys this year. I was trying to help my oldest kill buck, and he did. He got a really good buck, one that we nicknamed Brutus. So, pretty exciting stuff. And I have. Maybe add along to another 20, 30 minutes before I'm to the truck, hopefully, because I'm hungry and thirsty and my feet hurt. I just got back to the truck and everything is good except for I left a pair of gloves up on the mountain because I am stupid. But I've got more gloves and I'll probably buy more. That thing is heavy, man. I'll bet that bag is 70 pounds. Got all the buck meat on top. And plus my rifle. But safe and sound. Back to the truck. I think I'm actually going to go rinse uh, some of the meat off. There was hair. I got some hair on uh, one of the quarters. So I think I'll just dip it in that beautiful little brook. And then throw it back in the truck. And on my way. Great hunt. 